his opponent. Well, his par through. A really, really tough quarterfinal match against the number five seed Hendrawan of Indonesia. That match lasting 70 minutes. He'd also beaten the number three seed in the third round, Wong Chun Han of Malaysia. Didn't just beat him, 15-5, 15-5. And then in the semi-final, beating teammate number eight seed in just 40 minutes. Zing Peng, of course, had put out the number one seed and dis defending champion Peter Gator Christensen of Denmark in the quarterfinal. So nerve-wracking times just before the start of this match for both players. umpire Ian Collett from Cambridgeshire. He's the man in charge. Final preparations. And Xie Shenzhi of China. He only started playing on the World Grand Prix circuit in 1998. Only played three tournaments that year. Best result, a quarter-final, so to think, within two years. Here he is in an All England final. It's absolutely extraordinary. Just as extraordinary, I guess, is this young man, 18 years of age, second All England final. Of course, he wants to go one better than he did last year. Runner up to Peter Gader, the world number one. Three games last year, wonderful match it was, too. Now, these two players have actually met each other once previously. It was in the Grand Prix Finals in December last year. And Hidiat won in two straight games, 15-10, 15-10 on that occasion. But Shia really is improving the whole time. Chinese player, two titles last year. In fact, both of them back-to-back, -back. the Dutch Open and the German Open. So, Anthony, these final stages before the match gets underway. I mean, it's really nerve-wracking times for these players. It certainly is, and especially for the Chinese player. His biggest occasion to date an All England final. It's essential that he makes a very good start. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yonix All England Open men's singles final. Between, on my right, Jia Yuanze, China. And on my left, Taufik Hidiat, Indonesia. Well, there's some very vocal Indonesian supporters here at the National Indoor Arena. Jia Yuanze to serve. Love all. Play. I thought he was nervous. That One certainly down. was a wonderful shot. Certainly was a confident start. Went with the low serve, which is strange for a men's singles player. Something just distracting Hidiat behind the server's arm. But the low serve forcing Hidiat then to play to the back of the court, a lift, a delicate touch. Well, I'm not quite sure what the problem was. Maybe a flashlight from a camera going off. Well, actually, no flash just looking 
on that angle. That's just below our commentary position. And I wonder if a door was open there onto the arena concourse and the light shining through. Maybe that was the problem. Service over. Love one. Sam Hidiak going with the net shot option on the return, not giving the Chinese player a chance to play an attacking downward shot. Is that what Chia is going to try and do? Is he Service going to try and over. attack as much as possible? One. I think if we just look at his physique, you can see very well-defined quadriceps. He's an excellent mover, and he really does elevate at the back of the court and find some steep angles. And I think this match will be a battle about both men trying to cut out the attacking play of each other. Two, love. Good footwork from Taufik Hidiat to get into the net there, running straight in. But a delicate cross-court touch again. Three, love. Shia Shan Wei of China. Well, he's made a great start, and if he was suffering from nerves, it's certainly not showing. Little bits of feather from the mixed doubles final on the court surface. And of course, if a player steps on that, they can lose their footing. we're seeing from Transy is not the full-on oh, power no. strokes. That's more of a half smash. Elects to go for the direction. Just reverse slicing the shuttle across Taufik Hidiat. Oh, oh my word. Well, that's outrageous. Five. Certainly no. is. You can see that Hidiat's weight is going back towards the rear court. Didn't even consider the cross-court option. Six, love. Anthony, the pressures so this over. year, as far as this man is Long concerned, six. Hidiat last year wasn't expected to win the championship. Now, of course, all the pressures are different. The, the fans back home in Indonesia will be willing him on to win, and of course, that's a big burden of pressure that he's uh, shouldering. Quite definitely. It'd be interesting to see how the young man reacts to it. Very mature in his character. play most of the time in singles players that choose to smash up. down the side Six. of the court no. that time smashing straight down the center right at his opponent very effective tactic especially has been catching this man with the re reverse slices half smash I mean going down the sides of the court that'll give Taufik Hidiat something else to think about Well, it's not only the angle of shot, it's the fact that he gets himself Seven. in position Love. first. Tremendous movement. Eight. Love. Can you close? Ian Collett having to call for the tournament referee. Roger Johansson of Sweden. Play, please. See him in the background just walking around to the other side of the arena. Right. There he is.
service. Over. Love, eight. Service over. Eight. Well, eight love. love this opening game. I, for one, wouldn't have predicted this. Definitely would have thought it would have been the Chinese player, Transi, who would have been nervous, making a tentative start. But at the moment, just producing some sensational angles, not only from the back of the court, but also Nine. underarm strokes. He's taking that one wide on the forehand. Hidiat just asking if he can Love tell down. Nine. I suspect strongly this is just a tactical ploy to try and recompose his thoughts. Really a bit shell shocked at the moment. That's understandable. from the front of the court. Service over. Certainly is. Nine. Took that one very Nine. low. And then when he sees the opportunity, makes the extra special effort to get to the top of the tape in order to create those winning angles. Ten, love. Hidiat trying to mix it up a little bit. Electing to go with a deceptive drive up the line. Eleven, love. Shangji of China. Oh, look at how relaxed he is. In the middle of the rally. Even been able to walk back to base position at times. That's a sign of his confidence. Certainly he's a very love. efficient Eleven. mover. Spoke a few rallies ago about when he made an extra special effort to take it early. When he doesn't have to use maximum effort, he looks quite relaxed in his movement, but has the strength in those huge legs in order to be able to accelerate towards the shuttle. Service over. 11, love. Li Yongbo on the left. Attempting to take Love that shot 11. so early. Look where his base is. He's up by that front service line. What made that so impressive is that the young Indonesian is regarded as having one of the best and strongest backhands in the game. A very strong backhand wrist. Could easily have played a clear from that position. So good anticipation from the Chinese player. And finally, Vidyat off the mark. 1-11. Well, it was a death opportunity there for Hidiat. Service over. 11 1. It's a weak lift from Transi. Just doesn't connect with the shuttle. Easy opportunity from Hidiat, but just snatching at it because he's had so few opportunities, really hasn't found his rhythm yet. Service over. 1 11. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he may have made the error on the shot, but it was a wonderful example of just how powerful those legs are. Initially moving in the wrong direction, able to change that, push forward. Well, that's 
delighted the Indonesian fans. Two, 11. Better movement from Taufik Hidiat. Coming forwards in front of the service line in order to put away that kill. Well, going for a very ambitious shot. Three, 11. Hardly any backswing on this shot. Just tries to angle the shuttle into the space. Four, 11. Oh, yes, on the line. A much flatter smash. Hidia just landing inside the back of the line. Probably feels that the Chinese player Tranzi has got the making of the smashes coming down steeply. He's picking those up easily. So just mixing, mixing the trajectory. Service over. Service fault 11, called. Four. Yes, well, he had this problem yesterday. Racket head too high. 12-4. Four. Four. Lele, please. Please, okay, yeah. I can. It's okay, it's okay. It's Please okay. close the door. Yes, I know it's okay. Well, he's still not happy, the Indonesian. The light is coming through. 12-4. Play, please. Can you close the It's closed? Yes, sir. It's closed. I believe that it is a door that is being opened occasionally. People coming into the auditorium and bright lights outside are shining straight down into Hidiat's eyes. to get away with that. Service over. Four. I thought Whoa. initially he was taking one on his forehand side that may have dropped wide. He was undecided himself. Shot from Hidiat managed to force Transi deep into the forehand court, slightly off balanced. And one thing that's so impressive is that the Chinese man Transi is still trying to hit those angles, trying to hit winning shots. Certainly is very confident. Six, twelve. Angle. Transi's armed with a very good reverse slice, well, which will take this smash straight down the line. That's the one thing that Hidiat was being aware of. That left the gap for the smash across court. Service over. Shows the quality of the Six, smash. Transi's defensive position, his base was towards that forehand side, and he still couldn't cover the straight smash. Well, service over. Idiot. Six. Really at full stretch there, but couldn't control the shot. But he's having to wait so long. He can't anticipate. His opponent is so deceptive. 13, 6. Oh, 
two points from this opening game. Now just the one. Well, helped by the net cord, but he really created his own luck there by taking the shuttle early. And it's game points. Game. And gets it the first time of asking Xie Zhangzi of China. The number 11 seed has upset the form first books game, in this opening here. game. Zhuanzi, 15, and takes the first six. game, 15 court. 6. The court. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. So Xie Zhuanzi Second of game. China. Oh, 15-6 that opening Play. game. And he really did start so impressively. Love even love in that first game. Now, Anthony, what does the youngster do? What can the Indonesian, what should he be doing? Should he be trying to play the net more or has he got to attack more? I think initially we saw that he was disturbed by what was going on behind, in front of him, affecting his vision. Perhaps that just lost his focus a bit. I think we've just got to see more of his attacking play, dictating the pace a little bit more, and in turn, that will prevent Tranzi having the One opportunity to create left. those angles with his deception. And defense really is extraordinary. Service over. He's creating Love. so much power with so little racket movement. It certainly is. The backhand movement, the rotation of the forearm is very, very strong. Players tend to anticipate a straight defensive response to the cross court one. It's quite often a winning stroke. Again, Hidiat at full stretch. One, Look at no. that, scrambling the shuttle back. Service over. It almost no. looks to me no. as if the Indonesian doesn't know what to try. I think he's a little bit shell-shocked. I think he thought that Transi would be very slow out of the blocks, a little bit nervous. He's produced some quality right from the start. It means that the Indonesian has got to up his game very quickly indeed. Goodness, looking at the serves there, Xie Zhangzi hasn't actually hit any long serves. Choosing to serve short as he did there. Two, one. And that's more and more the way men's singles is going, isn't it, Anthony? That he doesn't want to give away the lift right from the start of the rally. Especially as that's Hidiat's strength, hitting the shuttle down. And of course, that's another thing we could possibly attribute to Hidiat not being able to get into. His rhythm, as we see, the first deceptive flick of the game, which caught Hidia out, got the weak lift, Three. and allowed Shranzi to smash it down. Good elevation, and that final smash. This is just incredible. I mean, the way Four. he's moving to the shuttle, look at that speed of movement. The impressive thing is, imagine the velocity which he's moving into that corner. He stops immediately and then springs back into court, ready for any response from the Indonesian. Well, once again, just giving us a demonstration of how to move round the head. Look at the footwork movement. 
I already think Hidiat's got to start thinking about his return to serve. The reason that Chuanzi is serving low is to force that shot out of Hidiat. So Hidiat must Six, start now to think one. about what shots he wants to play off the return. Wow, well, only long by a whisker. Delightful angle from Hidiat. One, Already taking that shuttle behind him, creating the angle, the cross-court shot. Well, just to prove that his movement forward is just as fast as his movement back in court. Mm, that's landed in. Service over. One, six. <laughs> service over. Anthony, you were talking about Hidiat's return One. of serve. What would you like to see him do more of? Does he need to play more net replies? I think quite definitely. Chuanzi is waiting for the lift and is playing a lot of winning shots then off the third shot of the rally by playing a smash. If Hidiak could mix up the angles around the front of the court, not only playing the straight net shot, but turning some cross court, that will then either force the net shot or the lift out of Chuanzi. Well, I noticed on that last rally, it almost drove the reply back. Oh, it's wide. Two, six. Difficult shot to attempt. Hidiat's on his base in balance. Had to be an outright winner. Oh, it's pulled in. Z doesn't like the call. Three, six. It's a desperate backhand block. May well have just caught the outside edge of the line. Confident play, tumbles the shuttle, waits with his racket side towards the net. Idiot did very well to even get that shuttle back into play. Questioned whether or not the Chinese player had touched the net with his racket, but it was the shuttle on the way over. Excellent kill. Again, anticipating the drop, stepping forward at exactly the right moment. Look how early he's taking that. And even the acrobatics from Hidiat. Can't do anything about the Chinese. You know, Anthony, the big difference to me in the way that Hidiat is playing today and his semi-final win over Fung Pomadi yesterday is that he's not commanding the rallies, he's not dictating the pace, he's having to react to what his Chinese opponent is, is throwing at him. That's right, and it's all credit to the man on shot there, Tran Zi, really right from the very start with the low serve, the very sh first shot of the match, really laid his stall out by saying, I'm not going to give you any opportunities to hit the shuttle hard and fast at me, and the speed of his movement also is preventing Hidiat dictating it, but the Indonesian must make that extra effort to really try and impose himself on some of these rallies. Service over. 
seven, three. Certainly not able to match his opponent for speed. Idiot, either in movement or in the way they're hitting the shuttle. I just wonder whether Hideyat should in fact be trying to slow the whole game down. What well, that might be able to do if he slows it down is of course force his opponent deep in the court and then very close to the front. But what it might also do in the long run is take a little bit of the sting out of Chuan Zhi's legs. Maybe just slow him down just a fraction. Then Hideyat might be able to build the pace up. We saw Chuan Zi hitting the cross court net shot earlier on in the match. Hidiat proving that he too is that in his repertoire. Rally, you might associate that kind of play with doubles. Even Hidiak getting the trick shot back, but just going wide. But again, it was Transi moving forwards after the drive, dominating the front of that court. Eight, four. Well, time is running out as far as the Indonesian is concerned. Nine, and I think he probably four. knows that. And that's why he's snatching at the shuttle a little. First of all, taking that one so late. Now there, he had a huge opportunity, but just snatched at it. If he was feeling confident, perhaps we would have seen a little cross-court drop shot from that position. And yet another error. Ten, four. No question, he seems to have lost his way. Exceptionally well Five, to stay in the rally. Ten. But the points he's winning really are because his opponent is making errors. He's not getting out there and hitting the winning shots. I think that shows the tactic of Transi. Even that return of serve was drilled so flat over. and fast. Ten, so that Hidiat had five. to rush his shot. It wasn't a lift, it was more of a drive. Hidiat just off balance whilst trying to hit the shuttle down. <laughs> Quite frankly, that's a dreadful return of serve. 11, 5. I don't think he knew himself what he was trying to do. Keeps persisting with trying to play those returns flat, allowing the athletic Chinese player to make the interceptions early. If he is so going to lift, over. perhaps give it a little bit more Five, height to make sure 11. he gets the shuttle to the back of the court. It's just so positive in every rally. Looking to keep the shuttle going down. Yes. That's more like the sort of play we saw yesterday in his semi final. The big jump over. upwards and into Five, the shuttle. 11. He'd been given time to do so. And the chassis steps across court to get to the front of the court in balance to make the kill. Six, 
11. Well, once again, the Indonesian wins the point because of an error from his opponent. makes more of the errors pile up easy quick points for the Indonesian might give him confidence and allow him back into this second game well attacking play from the Indonesian and it's paying dividends very well to cover the ground from right at the back of the court to the front in order to make that half chance. Well, well he's tried that several occasions. I don't know whether that he's just not over. reading the direction 11, of the smash eight. from his opponent. Around the back shot really isn't a good enough solution. Very rare at this level of badminton that you ever win the rally from playing a trick shop. But at least the Indonesian has played himself back into the match now. Just three points adrift. of actually achieving the dream of winning the All England title is beginning to make the Chinese player a little bit nervous. Mm. Just snatching at the opportunities he was putting away so well a little while ago. Nine, eleven. Got into a good position, nothing wrong with the movement. Just drag the shuttle down. Oh, oh he's missed that one. So now just the one point, the deficit. These were the shots he was just clipping down, almost half smashes. That time putting a bit more effort into it. Well, helped by the net cord. His reaction after seeing that just go over, the little clenched fist, urging himself on. Moved him so well wide initially to the backhand side, then to the forehand, then the third shot for the winner. A very steep smash. Well, I think both players aware of just what a big point that was. Tremendous. Service over. 11, 10. Well, he really gets up well for this smash round the head. And a big amount of distance to cover. Played it six inches inside the side of the court. Yes, he seemed to me to almost jump from the base position. One big jump. He was out 
to the side of the court, able to play that smash. And he's got to put the score out of his mind. And that was making him nervous. Just take one point at a time. snatching and that is a definite sign of nerves certainly was tried to play the shot with pace could have used the speed of the shuttle on the shot from Hidiat just blocked it you can see the space for the cross-court block Seemed to me as if he was in pretty good position. Just careless. was never in doubt. Oh, my goodness. He needed the power in his legs for that jump smash. Once again, the same shot, jumping out wide to the forehand side, thundering down the smash. And two points from the title. from Hidayat. Certainly was inviting the attacking play from Transi. covering the backhand side. 11, All credit to Hidiat, very deceptive. Looked as if he was going to hold it and flick it to the back of the court. Just dropped it short. Yeah. Oh, Lift, definitely not well, long enough. You can see Hidiat hitting that inside the double service line. Oh, the court just a little bit wet. Court attendant on to mop up the perspiration that's dripped down onto the court surface. in that rally and it's 13 all oh, 
Well, the ratchet tat tat interchange before between these two players. That is over. 13 all. Neither player willing to give away the left. Smash from Hidiat. Did allow Transi to even get back up and into that rally. But it was once again his lift was a little bit too short, enabling Taufik to play such a powerful smash. Oh. Oh. That's amazing. Well, he's obviously feeling the nerves, there's no question of that, and yet he controlled his emotions. Hit that wonderful cross-court smash. Was short. There's still a wonderful 14, angle. Match point 13. Yes, you can see how short that was. And it's match point. his coaches well Torfik Hidiat for the second year running beaten in the All England final young Indonesian absolutely devastated but look at the smiles from Shia Oh, my goodness, what a performance. 15-13. So, the Chinese player, well, he'd been 11-5 up in this second game, seeing his lead whittle away to 13 all. But look at the reactions. That's what it means to win an All England title. The third Chinese player in four years to take this men's singles crown. Of course, Dong Xiong won in 97 and Sun Jun in 98. But now a new name will go on the trophy. Xie Xuanzi of China. Victory, 15-6, 15-13.